All right, in this video, video number 10 of T's Math Tips, and we're gonna look at a percent problem that deals with profit and money. The sticker price on a new truck at a dealership is $43,680. If this price represents a 30% profit over what the dealership paid for the vehicle, what was the actual cost that the dealership paid for the truck? I have four multiple choice answers here because I wanna give you two strategies. The first strategy I'm gonna share with you here is a multiple choice strategy, and that is taking the answers and working backwards to get to this number right here. Now let's make sure we understand what's going on here. This is the sticker price on the truck. This is how much you're gonna pay for the truck if you went to purchase it. Now the dealership has to make a profit, right? So, you know, they bought the vehicle for some price and then they tacked on a 30% increase to the price they paid to get to this price right here. That way they make a profit. With that said, we can automatically eliminate choice C because we're trying to find the actual cost that the dealership paid for the truck. If the dealership paid more than what they're selling it for, they're not making a profit. So we're definitely going to eliminate that one. So let's think of all of these numbers. These are the possible prices that the dealership could have paid for the truck. Now, what some people will do, and this is incorrect as well, they'll take 30% because it is a 30% profit and they'll find 30% of, that means multiply, and they'll do $43,680. And some people will look at this and say, well, that's how much profit they're making. So what one would do from here is they would take that $13,104 and they would subtract it from this. Well, let's do that, 43,680 minus that number we just found a moment ago, 13,104, and you get 30,576. That is an answer choice up here, but that is the incorrect answer. Let me explain why that's incorrect because that's one of the most common mistakes I see when I teach this problem in a math class. The reason why this is incorrect because here's what you have to do. You have to take whatever number we have here and you want to find 30% of it. You do not want to find 30% of this number. You want to find 30% of the cost that the dealership paid and you want to tack it on to one of these costs here to see if it takes you to 43,680. So let's take that answer choice A, it's not correct. Let's find 30% of that. So I'm multiplying by 0.30. So we get $9,172.80. If we add that number, we're saying that's the 30% increase, that's the 30% profit. If we add that back to this right here, we're not going to get 43,680. Just to show you that, I'm going to add this plus that price that we thought was correct, 30,576. And notice this number here does not match that right there. So you have to be careful. You're trying to find 30% of the price that the dealership paid. Once you find that 30% of the price that the dealership paid, you add that on and hopefully then we will get this sticker price right here. So let's move on to choice B. Let's find 30% of this other guess that this may be the cost that the dealership paid. 30% of that, so let's multiply 33,600, we get $10,080. This is 30% of this proposed cost that the dealership paid. So let's take this number, let's add back on the price that we think the dealership paid and check out what we get, $43,680. This is going to be our answer right here. I'm not even going to check choice D. I know that this is the correct answer. Now let me show you another way to work through it if you didn't have multiple choice. This is how you want to think about it. The dealership's price, the price they paid, plus the profit that they want to make off of this vehicle, that's going to be equal to the sticker price. So let's act like we don't know this. Let's call this X. How do we find the profit that the dealership wants to make for this second part right here? The dealership's profit is going to be 30% of, which means multiply, whatever they paid for the vehicle. The dealership's price that they paid for the vehicle was X. They want to take 30% of that price. So we need to take 0 0.30 times the price that they paid. I've called that X. Let's add these two things together with that plus right there. And this will be equal to our sticker price of 43,680 bucks. Now, if you combine like terms and solve this equation for X, we are going to get 33,600. This is 1X plus 0.30X, that's 1.30X, or you could just write 1.3X. 
is equal to 43,680. And to solve for x here, we need to divide by 1.3 on both sides to get x by itself. And again, 1.30 and 1.3 are the exact same thing. We have x by itself. Let's take the 43,680 and let's divide by 1.3. And check it out, we get $33,600. There's our answer right there. Either approach works, but the benefit of knowing this technique here and understanding what we're really doing, that will save you if you did not have a multiple choice test because you would be guessing and checking all day trying to come up with some number, finding 30% of that number, and then adding that on to get 43,680. I hope you see what I'm saying there. But if you do have a multiple choice test, by all means, go through these numbers find 30% of them, add that back to whatever number it is and see if you get to your sticker price. And there you have it, video number 10 of T's Math Tips. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.